Bar charts, line charts, and pie charts are the staple data visualization tools that most people use to present and consume data. If you've ever explored the chart types in Excel or taken a statistics course, you'll know that there are numerous other methods for visualizing data. My personal favorite, the scatter chart, may be the most powerful tool for understanding and visualizing data. Watch the following video giving an overview of a scatter chart and then see if you agree with me. A basic scatter chart plots two different measures against each other. One goes on the x-axis and the other goes on the y-axis. Different points on the graph represent some kind of category. This example, seen here in an interactive Excel Power View report, uses police data from Chicago and plots crime count on the y-axis versus arrest percent on the x-axis. Each point represents a community area in the city of Chicago. Adding titles to the points clarifies the community area categories on the chart. You can see that within the data, as crime count goes up, it appears that the arrest percent also goes up. Another way to think about the scatter chart is that for the community areas, you can see if there's a pattern as each measure goes up or down. Community areas lower on the y-axis have fewer total crimes, and community areas to the left on the x-axis have a lower arrest percent. So each community area could fall into one of four categories. The lower right has a low crime count and a high arrest percent. This is a good place to be. The upper left has a high crime count and a low arrest percent. This is a bad place to be. The lower left has a low crime count, but also a low arrest percent. And the upper right has a high crime count and a high arrest percent. Ready to add another measure to the scatter chart? Here's where the value of scatter charts is data visualization tools start getting robust. Adding per capita income to the scatter chart so that it represents the bubble size gives you three different measures on the same chart for the same community areas. The larger the bubble, the higher the per capita income. We can also make the bubble color represent the decile for people 16 years of age and older who are unemployed. See that the bubble colors now represent values from this legend. Purple bubbles represent community areas with 0 to 10% unemployment, and green bubbles have 30% or higher unemployment. And we can add another level of complexity to the scatter chart. Adding a time value to the scatter chart axis allows you to watch the bubbles move over time. Think of it as a play button for a DVD movie. In this example below, you can see that in quarter one of 2007, the near south side had a high crime count, a high arrest percentage, a large per capita income, and 10 to 20% unemployment. By quarter three of 2011, the crime count has gone down significantly and the arrest percent has only declined slightly. In summary, scatter charts have the ability to plot many different measures and categories on a single chart. If designed properly, patterns are often easily recognizable using nothing more than this data visualization tool. More information and links about this video are available in a blog post at our website at opendatabits.com.